सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो टुडे विथ मी से 1980s GEC गोल्ड लाइन सो दिस इज द लास्ट एंड फाइनल वर्जन ऑफ द गोल्ड लाइन बिफोर दे डिसकंटिन्यूड एंड शट डाउन द फैक्ट्री इन द लेट 90s सो या द मोटर थिकनेस इज सिमिलर टू द 90s क्रॉम्पटन ग्रीव्स हाई ब्रीज एक्सेट्रा एंड लेट मी टॉक अबाउट द ब्लेड्स सो द ब्लेड्स आर एक्सैक्टली सेम और सिमिलर टू दी जी ई सी तूफान एस यू कैन सी द शैंक्स आर प्रेटी लॉन्ग यू कैन सी फॉर कंपेरिजन दिस इज माई हैंड यू कैन सी द शैंक्स आर प्रेटी लॉन्ग जस्ट लाइक द जी ई सी तूफान सो as you can see and the motor is made of cast iron both the upper and lower cover is made of cast iron and this is the label which is um yeah 80 percentage gone you can see it's written gold line over here permitted user the gec company of india yeah this is like alstom gec because GEC was turned to Alstom in the late 80s if i'm not wrong so that's why this fan is having different design even though this is gold line and yes the rotor is removable not like the older versions which were having rotor which was welded together the bottom cover so like that and now let me just tear down the motor and show you what's inside so i have opened the motor as you can see this is the coil yes this is rewinded and i think yes this is rewinded 20 years back because yeah according to my father he told me this was rewinded in 1998 or 99 or maybe 2000s don't know what year it is but i'm sure it's 20 plus years old still the rewinded coil is in good condition no worries and this is the bottom cover bottom cover is having bearing seat and it's written 45 sorry 4951a and the 3 written over here maybe model number and this is the upper cover you can see upper cover is also very it's pretty heavy and these are the balancing this side is pretty heavy so they have done some holes over here just to keep the body in balance as you can see and here's the bush you can see so yeah this fan is having removable rotor as you can see the rotor is also pretty thick it's like usha kohinoor or any other usha 14 pole models like the prima everything you can see and as you can see let me once again show you you can see let me turn on the flash so these are the parts of this fan let me show you the bottom side you can see bottom side is having a 6201 bearing and someone have punched the shield the metal shield don't know for what reason and this is the bottom cover and this is the blades of another fan yeah this is the blades of a crompton jupiter yes this is a five blade fan blades i mean yeah five blade fan you can see 1 2 3 4 5 yeah this is the blades of my new fan or my new fan collection which is the crompton jupiter of 2000s to 2010 let me show you the picture yes i hope you guys saw the picture of the jupiter the box logo crompton griffs jupiter whatever may be i will be making a brief review of that fan so yeah now let's talk about this so you can see 
you can see four wires are coming so that's all now let me assemble it and show you the working of this fan so this is the fan after complete installation as you can see let me show you behind the canopy as you can see i have stick the wires temporarily without using the connector because the connector is junk no use also the capacitor is new 2.5 Keltron so without any delay let me turn on the fan so the air flow is quite good air flow is super thick also the speed is good yes air flow is also and there is no sound coming from the bush or any sorry the bearings the performance is good for its age and the fan is running perfectly silent no bearing noise and the rpm is around 340 or yeah i think so 330 or 340 rpm maybe currently raining outside as you can see so, so that's all so now let me turn off the fan So I hope you guys like the video of this 1980s GEC gold line fan. So don't forget to share your thoughts about this fans video through the comments. Like and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.